In this video, I am going to compare two electric four-wheel drive RC car truggies, the FTX Carnage and the Opsima 81. I am gonna find out which of these two RC cars is best. To help you decide which of these two RC cars is best for you, I need to critique their designs. Inspect their interior. Test how fast they can go. And see how good they are on off-road. So let's start with the styling. I really like the front of this carnage with this wide bumper and the rounded design. But as you get back to the rear, there are these strange, I don't know actually what to call them, but they look truly weird. Except this, the FTX looks pretty good. This Opsima 81 looks quite aggressive from the front and this three-lined roof is cool as well, but then at the rear there are these protruding shapes, they aren't good for anything, they are just there. I think they are design elements, maybe some people think it looks good. I think Opsima could have done it better, but that's my personal opinion. What do you guys think? Click on the pop-up banner in the top right hand corner of the screen to vote which you think is the better looking RC car, the FTX Carnage or the Opsima 81. So let's talk about the interiors and start with the FTX. Under the body shell the Carnage has a waterproof 550 electric brushed motor with heatsink. It's got a Waltz 1800mAh 7.2V NIMM battery, a 30A rated waterproof brushed speed controller, a 2.4 GHZ e-tronic sport radio system and a 3kg e-tronic sport ESR1 steering servo. The interior of the FTX is more transparent and with these blue metal elements it really looks cool. Inside the 81 has a 550 Opsima Trust Eco 15T electric brush motor with heatsink, an Opsima 1800mAh 7.2V NIMM battery, a 40A rated water resistant brush speed controller, a 2.4 GHZ Opsima R3FS receiver and an Opsima S40PH 4kg steering servo. Though this particular 81 was upgraded and it has a lot more powerful and a lot faster steering servo a Bluebird BMS 620MG 9.1kg metal gear servo. The interior of the Opsima is more built in, the components are fenced apart with cover pieces, but with these shiny metal elements it also looks good. So as you can see, these two RC cars roughly has got the same equipment, there are just small differences. Some parts of the Opsima are slightly better, but does this make it faster than the FTX? This FTX Carnage is quite fast on our road. With its flat wide tires and aerodynamic shape, it handles really well. You can go fast with it in corners too. But what about the AT1? The Opsima 81 is even faster. Now I should point out this particular 81 has a 4600mAh NIMM battery, which makes it faster than the base model 81 with its 1800mAh NIMM battery. Though because of the 81 has less wide wheelbase than the Carnage, in fast corners it's a little bit less stable, but it's still good on on-road. Well, if you want to know which of these two RC cars is faster, click on the pop-up banner in the top right hand corner of the screen to watch our drag race video with these two RC cars. Now let's see what they can do in off-road. This FTX is very good on off-road. Because its main parts are waterproof, you can go into water and don't mind of its condition. It's
it's wide and it has got good tires which means it's very stable and it has very much grip. This Optima 81 is also good in off-road. Most parts of it are waterproof, but the motor for example is not, so you can go in water, just you need to be a little bit more careful than in the case of the FDX. The 81 has special sampled tires, it has really much grip with them on off-road. It has got hard bumpers both on the front and the rear, so it's a decent off-roader. If you want to know which of these two RC cars can pull harder, click on the pop-up banner in the top right hand corner of the screen to watch our tug of war video with these two RC cars. After all, let's talk about prices. The costs of buying these RC cars are almost the same. In the UK, the Opsima 81 costs around £125-130, while the FDX Carnage is £132 on the official FDX page, but being a British product, you can find the Carnage for only £115 on other sites. In Eastern Europe, the Opsima 81 is slightly cheaper than the Carnage, it costs around 155 160 euros 
while the FTX carnage costs around 170 euros. So then, where does all that leave us? Well, which of these two RC cars should you buy if you're looking for a four-wheel drive electric brushed druggy? These cars are so closely matched that really there is no wrong choice. But I have to say that while the FTX Carnage is a very good RC car, the Optima 81 is slightly better and is cheaper too. And that's why it wins this test. Do you agree my verdict? Let me know in the comment section. Also if you enjoyed this video like it, share it and click on the logo to subscribe to this channel and hit the bell icon to turn your notifications on.